Svelga, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. But speak it I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. Surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn. That as it may, Lord Hraisvelga, Izel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. Oh. 
to harm after. Fesk do for one is trassy. One leaves el eshtai thorn. Sai el if in el ned. Or ratatoska straight Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught. How convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? Lies within us. Unis Ros Esh Idra Oloson Inizek Non Nish I Esk Dir Dran En Wa Ulwa Skola Es Alakin El Andranke Un Mondo. Ye gods. I have borne witness to such a transformation. Looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon. I imagined it some manner of Dravanian enchantment. But if any Ishgardian, regardless of allegiance, has such potential within them, twelve forgive us to think of all the dragons we've slain. War Ulmur Alaan As Drago Kawur Smaim K 
Oft have I wondered why Nidhogg did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragonsong War, for it is no war at all, but vengeance. An eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. Well, what do you propose we do now? I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word, and aided you in this fool's errand with Hraisvulga. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, lady, I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Even behind the stout walls of Ishgard, 
With an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. In close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And if the tales are true, the Warrior of Light has bested many an invincible foe. But such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. That I should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed. Everything I thought I was. Gone. All gone. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. Is that it? Aye, that would be the Airy. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye, his caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. Twould seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark! How he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no?